After successfully running a bustling coffee shop in a crowded metro station in Sao Paulo, your next challenge takes you to the heart of Paris, the city of love and coffee. This time, you'll be catering to both the locals and the ever-changing crowd of tourists who flock to the city to experience its charm and romance. Are you ready to take on the challenge and brew up success in this land of coffee and croissants? Bonjour. This time, we're meeting in Paris, the city of love, culture, and fashion. Just look at this beautiful neighborhood. We're very lucky that our next coffee shop is located in such an amazing spot. Let's create a brand first. It's beautiful. Let's focus on employees now. You already know how to hire baristas, so I'll leave this part to you. However, I'd like to introduce you to a new type of employee. Cleaners who clean up rubbish and water the plants for you. Let's hire one now. Great! Having a cleaner may generate some salary costs, but at the same time, it saves you a lot of time. And in business, delegation is crucial. Just don't forget to set the schedule of your new employee. I'm pretty sure you'll decorate this place nicely, but it's a bit quiet in here, isn't it? I think the customers would appreciate good music. Let's buy a jukebox and play some romantic music. After all, we're in Paris, right? These sounds make my heart beat faster. While we've already taken care of some more advanced stuff, you should never forget about the basics. You know, tables, chairs, baristas, or the menu. Speaking of the menu, I have a surprise for you. The coffee editor just got upgraded, and from now on, you can enrich your recipes with toppings. Make use of it right away.
Having coffee with toppings will be a game changer on your menu. But what about some snacks? I can't imagine a cafe in Paris without croissants, can you? Great! Now some customers will buy not only coffee but also a snack. This is a great way to improve your profits and make customers happy like that lady over there. Can you see her? This is Sophie Taylor, a tourist. It's her first time in Paris. Now you know what she thinks of your music choice. Remember, every social group has different tastes. By the way, I've just realized you already met six social groups. There are many tourists in the area. Between visiting the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre, they love to have a cup of aromatic coffee. If you want to attract more of them, you should think about your coffee shop's standards. For now, you only have one golden bean. Check out what you have to do to get the second. Getting more golden beans is prestigious, but it also adds some responsibility. The customers will review more aspects of your coffee shop. But hey, the business has to grow, right? As your coffee shop's rating increases, you may experience longer lines. It's important to keep in mind that customers who wait too long may become frustrated and leave. To mitigate this, consider offering discounts to keep your customers happy. Give it a try. Great! If a customer standing in line becomes impatient, you could consider offering them a discount as a way to appease them. Additionally, you could look into ways to increase the speed of coffee preparation. This could involve hiring more baristas to work during the same shift or providing additional training to improve their speed. Check the current speed of coffee preparation now. quite a lengthy lesson, but this mission is going to be more challenging than the previous ones. Best of luck to you. And if you haven't already, don't forget to open your coffee shop. Take care and see you soon.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 